everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Jones 911, and I'm here for my last time with the Crafty Maven getaway. Uh, you saw the inspiration, which I have to admit, I'm so bad for that. I just go with the flow kind of thing. And yes, it is my last time with the Crafty Maven giveaway. I'm going to take a little break. I have so many plans uh, on my channel and on my website. So many new fun things that's going to happen this year. So I'm just kind of focusing on that. So if you want to learn more about what's going to happen, I'm giving classes. I'm going to start streaming um, once a week. And, um, you know, I have three YouTube videos that go up every week. And so if you want to find out more, just go check it out. I'll have all the information down below. And don't forget to check out the Crafty Maven Getaway, their blog, and all the other um, designers that put up their work like every day of the week. It's pretty awesome. So I took some watercolor paper and I just added some gesso. And I think I just added clear gesso just because I wanted to give it... Um, I find the colors are so much more vibrant when there's gesso there. And I didn't realize how much of that light modeling paste that I was going to put. <laughs> this is a um, a template, 6x6 six six template from the Crafters Workshop. And it's something diamonds. Can't remember totally what it is. Anyway, I was just kind of going. And then all of a sudden, I had it all over the page. And if you watch my Watercolor Wednesday last week... I did, um, the page was called Magnificent, and it was, again, it was just watercolor paper, and I put some gesso, I believe, and then I just used the paint that's sitting there right at the bottom right, the Dilutions paint. Well, I did those two pages at the exact same time. I actually worked on this one first, and I put quite a bit of gesso, so it needed to dry, and it takes so long and I didn't want to bother with the whole, I think I might put the heat gun on it for a little bit, but it's like, this is taking way too long. I just grabbed another page and I got the second page done, which ended up being, it was actually the first page done because I got it done before. By the time I got that page done, then this one was done. So then um, they're going to be companion pages. Uh, on the other page, it basically... Um, just has the blue and then I'm using the same collection and on my Facebook group this month it's a blast from the past that's the challenge and it's to scrapbook some older photos and with old collections and um, so oh my goodness I am taking that to a different level <laughs> I um, <clears throat> excuse me I don't know if you guys have heard but there's like a competition going on in April and it's called Calvin Calvin Ball and it is on the get it scrap website and everyone can join you don't have to be a member it's in the forum and it's to scrapbook as many pages as you can get done in March well I am prepping for Calvin Ball and uh, so all the yesterday well part of the day yesterday and all day today um, what I'm doing is prepping a whole bunch of pages, plus I'm going uh, to a crop in April and a crop in May. Oh, fun. So I always like to do page kits. So what I'm doing is I'm taping all that real time. Me choosing the pages and everything, which is kind of like, I guess, kind of slow and it's a long time because I'm choosing a lot of pages. And I thought maybe of doing it... Um, fast pace or condensing it like I do now <laughs> for this video um, but uh, I think you can just put the video on and when when you're scrapping I, I just talk about a whole bunch of stuff and collections and you know paper companies and everything and and um, it's just to get ready for this Calvin ball and I think I'm gonna stream a lot of times that I'm gonna scrap in March too on YouTube um, when I'm trying to get as many pages done as I can done in the month of March. So I thought I'd just let you know about that while I was just getting that done. Now this is quite a few hours later. I've already got the first page done and now this is completely dried. So now I know what the other page looks like, right? Because I did it first. So I want to kind of mirror it because I want it, not mirror it, but so that they can be companion pages. One page is about um, 
a whale show that we saw. And then this page is going to be dolphins. So I am taking some packaging, some gelatos in quite a few tones of different shades of blues. And I'm just adding water and I'm just putting it everywhere. And to me, with the uh, modeling paste, it kind of gives it, I don't know, really cool texture. And it really reminds me of water. And then the other page has that I just used the paint and I kind of did a background that looks like water. And so they go really well next to each other. And I'm going to use the same collection. I believe it's Bow Bunny. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. But on, on the other video, I said which collection it is. It is um, a beach collection, something beach. And it was like 2011. So quite an old collection. Um, back in 2005, I, my daughter was um, on the trip. So I went with the group of 25 kids. And my husband met us in Ottawa for Canada Day. And there was uh, my mom and her husband and our best friends and their kids. And so we enjoyed Canada Day. And then we the group, we were on the way back. So, um, we helped them get the kids on the train so that they could go where they were sleeping for the night. And then they were continuing on home. And I was going back to Ontario <laughs> with my family and our best friends and my mom, they were continuing on somewhere else, but we all met in, in uh, Ottawa for Canada day. So that was super fun. So it was kind of fun to kind of reminisce that you know to um, that's something that we did a lot back then was travel with friends and family and we don't do that anymore so um i think it's because our kids are a little older and now we kind of travel with our kids <laughs> and because they're they're fun to hang around too right and uh but we we need to to do that a little bit more and um so I just took some of the pattern papers from the Bow Bunny collection and that blue background was the size that it was and I just used it that way. I just took a strip of that um, striped paper and I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom. I took a cut apart and I cut it out and I'm just going to make sort of a block. And the title on this is just going to be And Amazing because the other side says Magnificent. And then this side is going to say, and amazing. And I'm going to do some journaling right there. And I'm going to talk about that, that uh, that's the year, you know, that what I just said about my daughter. And then we met and, and then we went, me and my daughter, she didn't continue on to New Brunswick. She came, so she got to stay in Ontario for like three weeks. So, she, you know, she thought that was pretty cool too, because <laughs> we stayed a week with the group and then we stayed two weeks so it was a lot of fun. So it was nice to kind of relive those moments. It was a lot of fun. So like I said, this is a picture of the dolphin show that uh, we saw at Marine Land. And I'm just using some stickers from the collection. And I just love the background so much that I didn't want to do too much outside of that box. And so I'm just using the die cuts, a few stickers, a title, and I'm going to call this page done. And it was so much fun. So I just want to um, thank everyone at the Crafty Maven Getaway for the last, oh, must be, last quite a few months. Must be almost a year now. And uh, it's it was a lot of fun. And maybe someday when I retire <laughs> and I have a little bit more time, I can... Uh, rejoin the team again or I'll be you know asked to to go on the team again but um it was a lot of fun and just make sure that you check them out crafty maven getaway they have like I said awesome videos that upload every day and so just here back to the layout um there was kind of an awkward so I'm just showing you the two pages together there was kind of an awkward gap above the photo so I just filled it with um with stickers and I just love how it looks. Now I added some tape and then today I went and at, uh, bleh, <laughs> took pictures and um, the thing popped right off. So 
I added some quick dry adhesive to make sure that it sticks properly. So the only thing left is to add my title and I'm using these Doodle Bug Tinsy Type and they're probably right now my favorite alpha. I got them at Scrapbook Generations and it's just under Doodle Bug and Alphabets, I believe. And it, they come in a ton of colors. And thank you, Janet, for letting me know that they were there because I was having a hard time finding them anywhere else that the shipping wasn't like outrageous. But um, so I just love them. Now I had an M missing and that's what I'm searching for right now. It took me a bit of time because even though I have three of those, um, I've used quite a bit of them in the white and um, I, I could probably use like 10 packages. They're just awesome. So I just went and found three little round stickers just to fill out, uh, fill up that bottom. And then I'm going to put my title and amazing and that's it. That's going to complete this layout. It was so much fun to do. It was more drying time than anything. It took me a, less than an hour. I think it took me about 50 minutes to complete. And at the end of the video, you're going to see some close-ups and, um, and also I'll have the close-ups on my website. Hopefully we're going to get that updated by the end of the week. Um, just had a little bit of a setback trying to get all these pictures taken and uh, uploaded to the site, but they should be up there very shortly. And then we'll try to keep up with them. Um, I've added uh, something to hide the photo and then I'm going to add some mist. And I can tell you, I did this layout about a week ago. And when I took it out today to take pictures, the orange part, the orange mist was still wet. Like I had to take a paper towel and um, sop it up because I was getting it all over myself. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. But anyway, um, yeah, so lots of fun. So just make sure that your things are dry before you... Uh, put them away. Um, it was the last layout on top. Thankfully, I didn't put a layout face down on it or anything like that. So that was a good thing. So that's it. That's going to complete this layout. Here are some close-ups. And don't forget to check out the Crafty Maven getaway. And also check down uh, below if you haven't checked out my channel on YouTube, Nicole Jones 911. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.